Up, we came upon it by accident. Uh, I was routing out the center of a body, and I either turned my head or the router slipped or something happened, and I ran right through the edge of the body. And I do remember taking the Lord's name in vain on several occasions immediately following, followed by some other words that would probably make a, a longshoreman blush. But once I calmed down, I realized that maybe some good was going to come out of this after all. And what I did is I continued to cut out the edges, and I simply left a handful of pickup points inside, as well as enough support for the, uh, the, the, the neck pocket and the back of the guitar. And uh, that, was the, uh, that was the first prototype. It looked a little strange. and. I thought, well, somebody has probably done this somewhere, somehow, and uh, from that we built a, a working, a, a working prototype. When Andre, uh, who's my lead tech, finished it, uh, normally he just holds it up for me. You know, he holds it up and he says, you know, it's, you know, check it out. Um, this time, when I came into the room, uh, he just had the biggest grin on his face, and I said, what? He said, check this out. The guitar really has its own voice. It's a real acoustic feel to the, to the magnetic pickup. Plus, we put a piezo in there as well. So if I had to compare it to something, I would probably compare it to the Rick Turner Model 1, which is the Lindsey Buckingham, John Mayer guitar. Um, but new, they're over $5,000 and well out of the price range. Ours is closer to $3,000. and. Uh, we think as effective, maybe not as fancy, but certainly total-wise, we think it's just as effective. We've done a side-by-side -side comparison.